Hello, welcome back. Last time after a false start I got here with the uh, druid witch. Got something going, I'm not sure how confident I should be in it. Don't really remember what I had, so let's just look at this. Fruit bowl, snapdragon. Three damage on six, gain two. Right, I was theorizing that I might want the snapdragon on the upgraded slot instead of the sunbeam. Because the sunbeam is my big damage dealer. 10 damage with 2 mana for any even die. Sure. This can heal me. That can give me more dice. Probably 5s. Ooh. An interaction between, like, Northern Lights and... Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, so right. Upgrades are... Larger range. Any value at all, any value at all, wait a second, yeah, that's the same, uh, doubles don't really like that, but in some situations that could actually be real good, uh, gain to uneven, so yeah, that's why I wanted that to be upgraded, and two uses, got it, okay, Super Wizard locks two apples up. Sounds like a good thing to go for. Let's do it. Socks come off. That's right. I forgot about this for some reason. Okay. Uh, can summon Sunbeam can't use unless this turns into a something. Neat. Now I can use it. Or I could Northern Lights. Yeah, let's do some of that. Gonna invest a bit. Four is not really the ideal thing to invest in, but it's fine, I guess. Oh boy, you have three dice now. Okay. Wait, I upgraded my Sunbeam? Why? I wanted to upgrade my Snapdragon. Well, I didn't have a Snapdragon. Um, alright, so... One mana, um... I used it, that's fine. Okay, I have plans here. Snapdragon here. Six. I wonder if stashed dice... Stashed dice don't get frozen, because I stashed two fours. And you froze me, and then I got the fours. So those don't... Uh, that doesn't apply to those. Neat. So I can protect my high values if I want to. If I stash sixes, then that's a good Snapdragon mana generator, probably. But I might want it this turn. In any case, I can put just whatever I want in there. Like, say, a three. So I don't know what else I'd do with a three. I do have another six. I don't have another two, though. I can maybe make one. Do I want to leave that daffodil there? Probably. Okay, let's do this. Two use fruit bowl, because I'm going to put the sunbeam elsewhere and then put a snapdragon there, I guess. I'm hoping for, like, uh, so two uses. All right, so I got a two. That's actually good. So another five, that's also good. But I need an even value for the Snapdragon, so I'm gonna put another Fruit Bowl here. Here? Are you sure? What are you re-rolling? Am I putting anything in Northern Lights? Yeah, five, sure. Um, Snapdragon needs an even value, so that's where my six is going. So then the five gets this? That seems weird, but okay. I got a one. And another one. Um, wait, what? That didn't work out at all like I planned for it to. Oh well. I'm alive, I have mana, things are okay, I guess. You're gonna do... 
One poison. Okay, because you rolled all the same number. <laughs> Poor wizard. Poison the daffodil. Ah, well. Not what I wanted. Uh, that's a snapdragon. This is a lot of fives. Um, I can just finish you with uh, sunbeams. Um, sure. Whoa, that's another five. What? Um, hold on. I'd rather actually sunbeam there. Okay, so... Um, here. Summon in place of that. Oh, even. Shoot. Well, <laughs> uh, Daffodil, help me. Thanks. And then I can just, like, fruit bowl and throw dice and stuff. Uh, I could maybe heal a little bit if I had a four, but I don't. Always having such a good time here, this wizard. Okay, don't even need any of these apples. Um, I'll eat one because I feel like it's a waste not to, strangely enough. That was a really weird round there. Let's do one of these. Since I see that I can. Let's see, if I have mana, then it gives me... Yeah, if I have lo Ooh, lots of mana, then it gives me more instead. Um, okay, so that's... Sunbeamable. I'm gonna do this, and then probably... Just sunbeam the rest. Uh, here. Have another sunbeam here, I guess. Lots of sun. I have illuminate and three suns lighting my side of the board. Nobody can see anything because there's way too much light. Okay, so I only have one mana, though. Um, you're min four. You... I can't get... I can't make twos out of you. Not unless you're upgraded, and I'm not going to upgrade you. So, I don't have the even values for this. Yeah, so, hmm. Using all these sunbeams is not the easiest. So I can turn one into a f uh, five into a four. Then use uh, three sunbeams, get you to 20. I don't have any mana generation opportunities at all. Blue Ocean can take up to four and just do directly that amount of damage. Let's see, what do I end up with if I do that? I can just keep on sunbeaming, sure. Works for me, I guess. That's another way to do that. Ouch! Wouldn't mind some healing right about now. Probably not gonna get any. Hmm. Annoyingly, I'm not actually sure how I'm going to kill you right now. Oh wait, uh, yes I am. This'll do enough. Okay. Now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't eaten that apple. I would have just barely survived this, but then, you know, I'd have a lot more for you. Okay. Let's be careful here. However, I would be careful maybe by using some of these for, uh, Blue Ocean. That would work. Um... Okay, and then... I guess the only other thing I can really do is this, which is fine. It doesn't tell me what I've stashed. Hopefully I can stash both of those. I think those should both apply. Can't imagine why they wouldn't. So I'm getting two threes and two fives, I think. Yes, okay, great. Uh, can use Blue Ocean, um... Oh, 
Oh, interesting. By doing this... Let's see, by having done that, then I can keep the threes going, summon another one, keep the fives going... This is complicated. So I do this, I do this, I do this... And then I'm gonna Fruit Bowl a three, but that'll use my mana. Oh, but this will use my mana too. Healing for three is probably not better than doing five damage. It's hard to say though, it might actually be. I'm gonna heal. Then I'll summon a Fruit Bowl in the upgraded slots. Use a three on it to get a six, huh? Okay, so Sunbeam then? Sure? I guess? Alright. I haven't done a whole lot of damage. You have... Oh boy, lock. One mana. Um, I have to get this out of here. I want to just, like, heal now with this. I don't care what... Uh, I should care what damage I'm doing. I have a lot of dice, sure. That's nice, but... Uh, what am I even doing? Snapdragon... So use up that Fruit Bowl first. Am I going to stop investing in Northern Lights? I don't know. I have a lot of dice here. Like, kind of really a lot. I need more mana before I can actually do that. Okay, so... Here's a one. Here's another. Okay, so Snapdragon, Mana Generator, you go... Here and take the four. Yes. Gonna make two more with the other four. Then two sunbeams. You'll be at six. And I'll still have a one and a six. Let's see, but I could feed you whatever. I could keep a three around. Well, I won't be killing you, it looks like. Hold on, yes I... might be able to. Let's see here, so if I... Okay. I'm doing the upgraded sunbeam, yes, because I need the requirement not to be there because I'm feeding it threes. Here's another. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's how I kill you. Perfect. Didn't realize I had a sunbeam there that I could still just use. Neat. Okay. This is going all right. Um, two prepared daffodils might be nice. I could do a lot with two prepared daffodils. Yeah, I'm getting enough crystal balls and things that I'm actually not taking the extra dice. Man, I took the preparation. Why would I ever take a prepared spell slot? Well, <laughs> everything's upside down in the parallel universe. Enchanted bolt. At the start of the turn, do three. What? That doesn't sound very good for anything. I'm ignoring that. Like, okay, so what's a situation where this would be good? If I was getting a lot of twos? What's it upgraded? It doesn't tell me! Alright, well, yeah, I don't see what that's really for. Okay, oh no! Well, okay, so... I remember you, so we're gonna be ignoring you and the loud bird and the shop and going straight for the exit. I'm not making this mistake a second time. Alright, Dire Wolf. Singer, then boss. I'll have two apples, hopefully that'll be enough. So not getting my final level up. 
<laughs> At least it wasn't in the way of the stairway, so that's something. Um... Yes, I'm just gonna do this and have a fruit bowl for next time. Okay, but what are you gonna do with all that mana? Well, fruit bowl and then... Um... Stuff. Sunbeam, that's the one. Alright, so no even dice. Um... My daffodil is poisoned. It still it still worked, because it, it did its job before it got poisoned. Thinking. Now I'm just staring and not thinking anymore. Uh, so, fine. Let's, um... Sure, might as well do this since I have it. So I have, like, really a lot of mana. Northern Lights would do real well right now, but I have nothing to stash in it. I guess what I'll do is this and this. Sure... What I really want to do is just summon another Sunbeam here and use up all this mana that I have, which is a bunch. Um, I do have the means to do that, kinda. I don't need a Snapdragon. I'm okay with re-rolling this. So I'll probably just... Spend these to get that, and then... Where does the six go? To another sunbeam. Yeah, okay, here we go. So here's what happens. I do this, I zap with that. I turn this into a five, and I put another sunbeam here. There we go. Still poisoned. Oh, and cursed. Oh, shoot, that's unfortunate. You have Curse. What am I going to do about that? Shouldn't risk sunbeaming with the Curse. That's a bad idea. Um, so I want the Daffodil to get rid of my Curse. Can I do that? Well, if I could, it didn't happen. It's way too risky to sunbeam right now when I have this curse. That needs to be gone. So let's do it this way then. I have enough mana. There we go. There went the curse. Perfect. You're illuminated. Good for you. Doesn't matter because you're dying. Okay. <laughs> I found a way. I had to do a non-damage dealing thing there to, to reduce the risk. Okay, uh, gonna have to get through the singer without healing. That's fine, I guess. It's not really? That's super non-ideal. Yeah, man, but like, the alternative is going through a warlock and that's not gonna happen. And a loud bird, too. Okay, so find a way not to take damage with the singer. Or heal up with blue ocean even, maybe. But you're gonna weaken me. And do a lot of damage. Yo, that could be bad. And you have a huge health pool. Hmm, feeling kind of not great about this run right now. Let's take some blue ocean healing. Sure. And let's see, do I dare fruit bowl? No, I can't. I need the mana for this. So here, I'll just do that. If I'd put a fruit bowl in the upgraded slot, that would have been more damage total, but then that would have used up my mana, so maybe I didn't want to do that. Hmm. 
Okay, so... Probably prefer to damage. I need you to die quicker. But then the blue ocean's gonna barely do anything. Mm. Well, I mean, I have my, my system going here. This is... Fine, I guess. Gonna take a high note, and she's gonna weaken me as much as she can first. Ouch. Looks an awful lot like I might be dying to her. I do have a two and a six. Okay, so heal up first. Put a snapdragon there, make mana with it, use this, summon it, use it. Yes, that's my best move. Or I could turn this into a blue ocean, but like healing is just not the way to go, is it? Oh. I think I'll survive another turn, and hopefully this will be enough to kill you. I'm going into the boss awfully weak, though. Don't like it. Okay, I'll survive with one. Yeah, see, this is this is no good. I'm not gonna kill a boss with one health. Yeah, the warlock has ended my run again, indirectly. Even though I didn't interact with it, I'm still dead here. Uh, I mean, at least I can kill you. Um, hang on, so I can summon a blue ocean. But then you wouldn't die, right? Hold on, yeah you would. Well, but I don't have the mana for it, never mind. Okay, so three damage. Summon, four damage and healing. No, that doesn't kill you. Nope, this is the only way. Well. <laughs> That's sad. Man, really? Again? There is no way this would work out. Warlock, what did you do to me? You blinded me or something? I don't have a counter to that. I need to know what my die values are. Fighting the loud bird would never help me. Well... Skah, I've only fought you once ever, haven't I? No, twice, I think. I saw an upgraded version once, I think. Is two prepared daffodils any good? Maybe I should prepare something else, but what else would I do? Blue ocean? I need the mana. This is how I get mana. One of the ways. I can prepare a snapdragon. I don't know. Immune to lock and freeze. Well, okay. The ethereal echoes of the cave speak to me of... Your future, and they say... You're about to die. Hey, you're right! <laughs> I can see that future too! It's not just you! Oh boy. So hope for the curse, I guess. You only get one die. You are a wizard, pretty much. I don't want to prolong this. So I'll probably have a... Well, I don't know if I will have a... Um, this one's bad. This one could be bad. This one's pretty bad. So hope for... What, twos? Ones, twos, and fours? I don't know. Um... I mean, what else am I going to do other than... See, I could summon a blue ocean and use it. Getting me to... 20. 
sacrificing how much damage exactly? Six? Yep. I think I'd rather do six damage than take three healing. In this circumstance, though? Like, if I'm gonna win this race, then actually my priorities should probably be the other way around. She doesn't really gain strength as time goes on. So blue ocean or sunbeam? I think I want the blue ocean. Now I could upgrade it and do one more damage than I otherwise would. I guess that's what I'll do. I guess that's what I did. Okay. I got a one. Great. That's the least damage. That's actually... Wait, that did two. Why? Oh, right. One plus one, of course. Here, th these are all plus... Oh, they're all double. Oh, right. Okay. But see, now I have to contend with Curse. Like, I have a Daffodil that can maybe do some stuff with that. I don't really want to turn this into a three, though. So let me risk the one damage. Okay, well, I got the healing. Did I just throw these dice? Probably. Feels like that's... Well, I could Northern Lights, but if I Northern Lights, what would I replace? So I'd get two fours at the cost of either one of my Mana Generators or my Summoned Sunbeam. I don't think that's a win. I could lose my Blue Ocean, but no, I couldn't. I could lose one of my Mana Generators, that's no good. Man, all my options are terrible. Two. All right. That's one of the less bad ones. Cool. I can spend a four right away. All right. Sunbeam. Not cursed. You take some damage. That's a one now. Well, it's all locked up. I can summon a fruit bowl. See, using this... It wouldn't heal me, and it's more damage to do this, because I get two uses out of it. And I get some, like, options, I guess. So this can turn into a five to make another sunbeam. Those just are twos. Or fours for blue ocean. Okay, so... Snapdragon, mana, blue ocean... Healing. Which means that I, if I want to do this, I do it with a two. Uh, that is fine. Is it, though? Let's see. Snapdragon, here, mana, sunbeam here, 10 damage, she goes to 47, I stay at 17, well I'm not routing in a blue ocean, am I? Blue ocean, okay so snapdragon, blue ocean, 3 damage to her, 3 healing to me. At these relative values, that's a win for me, I guess. I don't think I can play the long game here. At some point she's gonna roll a six and I'm just gonna, like, die. Uh, but what choice do I have? I guess that's what's happening. Do I wanna upgrade the- let's see, do I- I wanna keep the sunbeam, yes. So Snapdragon, 
here. I need to do some damage at some point. If I have an upgraded Snapdragon, maybe I can ditch a Daffodil. That's not completely unreasonable. Yeah, let's say if I have an upgraded sna Snapdragon, I'll ditch a Daffodil, because I do want to keep that Sunbeam there. So Blue Ocean goes here, and I do this. Okay. Like, my board state here looks okay. This is about as good as it's going to get, I guess. But, ah, uh, our health values. Okay, the wind again. I'm getting kind of lucky. All right, so I have only one mana at this point. Let's make some and hope one of those is even, I guess. That one wasn't. Okay, let's heal. That's a five, which can turn into a four, and I can do some damage. Okay. Okay. Then my one daffodil. Okay, yeah, freeze is fine. It hurts a bit, but it's fine. I still not uh, limit breaked <laughs> or something. Um, I'm looking at the fruit bowl. So here's how this would play out. I'd Snapdragon with the two. You go to 37, I gain two mana, I have two ones. I'd Fruit Bowl here. Use one of my remaining two mana on that. Oh, uh, which would mean then my neither of these would go off. Never mind. Well, so alternative is... I mean, this is a given, right? I think so. I do want to heal. I have four mana right now. So if I'd sacrifice my sunbeam damage, which I think I'm going to have to. So I put a fruit bowl here, I get more dice. Maybe out of that I could somehow... G Let's see what I get. So I lost my upgraded snapdragon. But I can get it back. This could turn into a completely usable blue ocean. Then this would turn into more dice, which could be something good. I think that's the way to go. Might as well do this f first to see if I get... Yeah, if I'm going to do it anyway, I'll do it first to see if I get something else good. A 2 and a 6 is interesting. Is it? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I take the healing and as much damage as I can do to you. Let's generate some mana and get that Snapdragon back because it's only two less damage than if I put it in here and it's more damage for the upcoming turns. Okay. Even if she storms, I don't die immediately. We got the cold again. I got a crystal ball. Okay, I feel like it all comes down to this turn. I could potentially survive one more if, if she gets a one, but that's, you know, one in six chance. Oh boy, look at those rolls. Fantastic. Well, that's a lot of potential fruit bowls, sure. Some snapdragons. Definitely going to be spending some of this mana on fruit bowls. So, um, this is this is definite. I'm sure I want to do this. I probably want to fruit bowl here, put some of these ones into it, and hope I get something better. Yes, that's definitely what I want to do. Two fours. Neat. That's two potential blue oceans. So I could bring some of my health back. Not guaranteeing I would survive, though. I can do one sunbeam. I, can't, I don't have a five for another one, though. 
I have four mana at this point. I would really like to Fruit Bowl again, meaning I'd have to choose between Blue Ocean and... Hold on. But I can Snapdragon here. Up to more mana. Yes, so I can use this mana. These are even and they're fours. So, you know, they're, they're good for using this and summoning this. So I think my action is... Oh, and also creating mana with Snapdragon. So I'm going to Fruit Bowl again. Weirdly, I think I'm going to pull this off. Not 100% sure what my route is, but it looks kind of like I'm going to pull it off somehow. So I Snapdragon here. I give it a... F a four or a two. Gonna have to Sunbeam at some point if I want to do the damage. Oh boy. Uh, gonna have to Blue Ocean at some point if I want the healing. Um, okay, so let's only put this four into the Blue Ocean if you need a four specifically to, uh, to kill her. So if I were to Blue Ocean here, then you go to 19 and I have one mana. So then I'd put... I guess a four in the Snapdragon. I'd be back to three mana and a two here. So I'd end up with two ones and one mana. So one of those ones would summon a Fruit Bowl, the other one would use it with the mana. And how much damage would I have done? So here you'd be at 19. Here you'd be at 16. Here you'd be at six. So with a Fruit Bowl and one mana and one one, I have to do six damage then. I mean, this is my best play. It's about all I can do. It doesn't make a difference whether I put the four here and the two here, or the two here and the four here. It's the same thing. Neither pays any attention to its input value. Uh, I do have the option of turning that into a three, but I have no reason to. I don't want any Northern Lights. I'm going to finish this turn. <laughs> I want to. I don't know if I will. Alright, so there's that one mana left. Upgraded Fruit Bowl. A one and a two. Now I can put the two in, summon another Fruit Bowl for two more uses. Let's see, how will this work out? So I don't know what I would get, but I would get something that I could put into a fruit bowl again. Cost one mana, return two dice, two uses. Okay, so how would this be? Is this enough to just fruit bowl and throw her down? I think she's going to survive with one if I do this, right? Wait, but here's what I can... No, I can't. Okay, hang on. I, she'd still survive with one. All right, so I have a couple of routes where she survives with one. All right. So if I... If I Fruit Bowl the two, I don't know what I'd get, but I would still have a way to summon another one. So she's uh, she's at four. I summon another. I use it twice. She's at three. She's at two. I have one die to throw and nothing to put it into. So no, that's not the way to go. So like... If this turns into a five, I live. If this turns into a five, I also live. If it doesn't, then I can summon another Fruit Bowl and do at least a little bit of damage. It's possible I'd survive another round also, but I really don't want to take that chance. So yeah, I'm hoping for a five. That's the only one that would definitely give me a route to killing her. Because if I just summon a Snapdragon and use this with it... Well, hang on. I could summon a Snapdragon now. Fruit Bowl once more. Use whatever comes out of that. Well, yeah. Use this. Summon. Uh, use whatever comes back. And she'd still be at one. Oof. 
I got a five. Wow. Thanks, game. You did exactly what I needed. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got lucky there. I could have also gotten lucky in a lesser way and she would have rolled low enough not to have killed me the next round and then I totally could have finished her. How did I... I am really surprised that worked. Like, the dodging the warlock, going into the boss with 17 health. Skahach of all bosses, like, she's kind of scary. She got only 1s, 2s, and 4s, the exact values I wanted her to get. She never got a 3, 5, or a 6. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take luck at this point. You must think you've been doing so well with all this fighting. Sure, stick with it. Spin the wheel. Yeah, whatever. Generic text. So hey, that's the last parallel universe. We're done with those. Neat. How tragic. Lose again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. No, I didn't. I won. Check it out. Look at all this. Nice and clean. Only the six column to go. Oh, man. Getting close to maybe an ending. I imagine this game has an ending. Cornelius, I ran into you. You're the one who did, um... You had some scary attack. It was like countdown 99 to do 99 damage or something. I don't think it was exactly that, but it was something like that. Countdown 50 to do 99 damage. Anyway, um... Okay. <laughs> So you're immortal. This is just one of the things you do in your infinite existence. Huh. All right, then. <laughs> cool. Okay, so which done? Neat. All right, so gonna find out what bonus round means next time. Should be fun. Our old friend the warrior. One star difficulty. That'll be a nice break from the stress of that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then for that.